So, so, yeah. so is Gundam Breaker for worth buying? Um, buy that around $60. So is it worth $60? <clears throat> if you're new here, that case is bad. We have a lot of support channel. <clears throat> so, uh, is it worth $60? Uh, it depends. It's a yes and it's a no. For me as a content creator, I took a huge risk. And as a gaming fan, as a gamer, a huge risk I bought another game on day one. So I spent like uh, two hours at the mall. Uh, when I went to the mall, I went to the store and had one copy reserved. And then I spent uh, two hours walking around and eating. And then eight, not eating, just eight dinner by watching some videos and reviews about the skin and try to watch some videos uh, for comparisons with GB3 even though I already played GB3 for I think uh, 500 hours around that So, it's, well, it's really worth it. So, yeah, during that time, uh, I decided, I thought if I should um, buy it. Uh, so, I did uh, as much research, research as I can. I checked, I checked the group uh, community if it had some uh, awakenings and awakening bursts. So they also fix the cooldown, fortunately. And the option still cools down. Individually, not in it. universally like before. Before the network test. Is the game is good, but it had to, had some sh uh, short time to like uh, control is not responsive. Uh, things are more uh, nerf or die on down for GB three, and stages are just missions are just stages like there's a map you get teleported in and then. You teleport to another map for the next mission and fight another way. That's just it. There's no like uh, continuity to the map uh, every mission. There's like no rhyme or reason, just, uh, it's just, uh, but the map designs are good, so, not what we're used to, but you can easily forget it once in your very action, I guess, so, so that's, that, those were my first impressions during the, the network test. The only reason I decided to buy it because they, they announced that uh, my uh, Strike Freedom is coming out as opposed to DLC free update. So I just decided to buy it. You know, this will be the first game, the only game ever that will be able to play Mighty Strike Freedom. So 
That's the, one of the sunny points of Burnham Lake 4. Like we done Calibor coming to for a kind of units. For those suits, that's a deal maker. That's a deal maker right there. And as a content creator, it was a good risk because uh, see, uh, I think I'm able to okay, I'm able to, uh, yeah. I think I'm able to uh, recoup the cost uh, making content for this game in just a couple of weeks. So I think I will be afford uh, the $50 bill see more and we'll be able to sleep. <laughs> well, that's still copies sent here locally and um, I was lucky to get a free mouse pad and this is cool it's great Now for an updated uh, yeah, for the for the actual release game, it is uh, uh, to start. You know, it, it's bad because controls are funky, not responsive. So I hate that. So I want to play games that are controls are responsive. But uh, we got pen, and uh, yeah, I was entertained by the game. You know, building some suits, starting from scratch, trying to get the other positions. So I, then I played, and then uh, you know, um, I just enjoyed the game. Uh, I made Mighty Strike Freedom, Rising Freedom, and some Helios. So uh, at least the the, the I was able to have fun being created for hours and hours, and then able to build. Uh, some suits that uh, perform as I would expect, like burst spamming, a satellite channel spamming, but all good until the uh, uh, full open build sucks. So some awakening sucks here, so I don't know why you have to do them dirty. But it is what it is. You know, just less play time for me, less builds I want to make. Yeah, yeah it's a hundred hours. And after 100 hours, I tried new builds. I built uh, Zeus Pack Destiny and Akatsuki, and it's really good. Uh, I had fun uh, like, uh, building for hours, customizing, adjusting. And adjusting builder parts it was fun. So, yeah. Really cool. Uh, nukes are kind of cool here. Um, 
Yeah, so at least uh, this game has an end game. There's a survival mode, 50 floors where you can like test out your suit. You know, I can just spend like uh, for four hours a day just doing a survival mode. But uh, 50 floors, oh my god. So uh, maybe uh, with, with my new builds, uh, I'm still building the new builds. It takes hours and uh, millions of resources to, to build. Uh, good performing suit and farming so yeah so there's uh, like an end game loop to go there and grind um, for parts and drops part of this takes hours to build then you have the opportunity to to use your suit that you build you know survival mode and also, another reason that I bought it is that's right. uh, there will be events as well. So, I'm excited for events. So, hopefully, I might start to pick up if there will be an event. That can, uh, can be downloaded. Or you can download my strike pick up. And then uh, download, yeah, download the, the event, and then do the event, beat the bosses, take the missions, and then we'll get parts, like certain freedom parts. Uh, yeah, we'll get money, like freedom parts, as drop rewards. Hopefully, that's the case. Bosses, hopefully, a uh, PG money strike, you know, but not gonna other to the bosses who were gaining. I think Big Zero is missing in the least. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, something new to play or GP fan or not get the game you want something new uh, everyone just wants uh, to be entertained something new to play easy day so go ahead 
Why not? You will have at least uh, 100 hours, at least for my case, 100 hours at least uh, of gameplay, enjoyment, story, combat, farming, building, and then um, You know, and wait until the uh, update drops, the DLCs, uh, more playtime. And there's events, so there's like a more thing to do. They have single player game. Uh, uh, they have a good job with this game, you know, content wise. So the combat may have, may have, may have a half, half, half step back, but. Still has some good merits, you know. But if you want the best combat in the experience and you haven't played GB3 yet, let's go ahead and get GB3. Uh, for the less for lesser the price of GB4, you can get uh, GB3 and Great Edition with all the DLCs. And all the amazing combat graphics, better graphics as well. Better combat. Uh, <coughs> but uh, less suits, but if you're not after that, <coughs> GB3 uh, is better at the moment. So maybe if you want, you can get GB3 right now. And then wait for the price to drop of GB4 and get GB4 later. And get the DLCs. I think this series is one of the <coughs> games that are worth <coughs> every uh, <coughs> version is worth getting in my opinion. So I have it, I have the collection here of all the GB games at home <coughs> since Vita, GB1. So this game is worth collecting. Yeah, games worth collecting. So that's basically it. So yeah, uh, good luck and uh, hope uh, I've given <coughs> some good information out here. And see you next time. Take care.